Pterodactyl hair of mine. I've been away for a while on vacation, man. I've been to Jamaica, man. Not only do they cut grass in Jamaica, man, they smoke grass, man. And I've learned many things over there, man. Red Stripe, man. And Bob Marley was a lawnmower mechanic, man. I've learned many things, and today I'm going to share some of the things I learned over there in Jamaica, man. Right over here, on this here scrub cadet, man, with the Corolla engine. Okay, well we're going to discuss hair on this hair tractor here, man. Is I'm going to show you an inexpensive way to replace this here valve cover mounted mechanical fuel pump. Now this here from, from Kroller, if you had to replace it, you can't buy just parts for this pump. You have to buy it in a kit with a new valve cover and everything. And I'm going to show you an inexpensive way to convert it to a vacuum operated fuel pump for a fraction of the cost. And we're going to do that over there at the bench mine. Okay, well you're going to need to do this here conversion is I use a Briggs & Stratton vacuum operated fuel pump, which you can get at the parts store. And there's the part number there. It's about $18.95. Price may vary from wherever you go to buy your parts, but it's around $20, say. You're going to need that. You're going to need a piece of gasket material, because we're going to make us a gasket. I already made one. A 1 8 pipe plug couple of screws to secure this and about two foot of fuel line you're gonna need about two foot about 16 inches but you know just get like two foot so I'm gonna take that fuel pump off of that there tractor that scrub cadet with the crawler engine and then uh, I'm gonna show you how to we're gonna gut that fuel pump we're gonna gut it and then I'm going to show you how to remount it on there and then we're going to use the vacuum of the engine to pump the pump and it's going to, call, it's going to work just fine just like the mechanical one but it's going to be a fraction of the cost of what Kohler wants for that kit to put on there. Woo! Alright, we're going to take this all apart. Take them four screws out. Take this out. Take that spring out. This is all junk. Gonna throw all that away. Get a little screwdriver. Pop out them their check valves. We don't need them. Junk. The problem with this tractor that we're doing this fuel pump replacement is this thing got a hole in it and it just started pumping gas right into the crankcase of the engine and filling it with gas and oil. So the pump had to be replaced. And then we're going to take one of these fittings out. And then we're going to put that 1 8 pipe plug in there. Because that's what this is 1 8 pipe thread. Now this is where we're going to pick up the vacuum now. So then I already went and made a gasket. Put the gasket on. Put that on there like that and you're going to reuse them screws. As soon as I get it here, man. Hey, 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 hey! It's beautiful over there in Jamaica. It's nice over there. I like it over there. The ganja man, that'll make you think all kind of stuff. Cause you know, when you do these, these repairs, you got sometimes you got to think outside the trailer. Now you can do this anything anywhere you can pick up vacuum on a motor, 
you can use one of these vacuum operated pumps. And then you ain't got to go and get those electric fuel pumps and start hooking them up to stuff. Anywhere you can get vacuums. Now remember, on the Briggs one, this is the pulse line and then in and out. There's little marks on there. There's a little P, can't see it, but it says P for pulse and there's a little arrow in and a little arrow out. So remember that when you're looking at these pumps. So that's it. That's that's on there, screwed in. Now we're going to go put it back on there and hook up the fuel line. Cut some piece of fuel line. I already got two cut ahead of time. And then we're going to fire that up and woo! Man! We're going to have another inexpensive pterodactyl repair mine. Okay, I got the installs all ready to go. All we got to do is fire it up. But there it is. There's valve cover put back on. There's a line coming in. There's the pulse line. And there's your line going to carburetor. So it's ready. I think we're ready. Come on. repair that I showed you how to do on a Kroller engine. Now there's your dinner, man. Hey, woo! I'm gonna go smoke me one of these. <laughs>